welcome to Freshly Served, the Healthy Vegan Cooking Show. I'm Heather and tonight we're going to make a sweet potato salad. Sweet potatoes are one of my favorite foods and you can do this salad in different ways. You can make it kind of like a potato salad with uh, cubing the vegetables, seasoning it, putting it in a bowl, you're good to go. Or you can do it in slices. So have some thin slices of sweet potato um, arranged on a plate and it's a little bit fancier and looks a little bit more interesting. So what we're gonna start with are the sweet potatoes and I've got the end cut off so you can see. I use the kind that are orange in the middle. These are usually called yams in the store. They're not actually yams, they are sweet potatoes, but it just helps differentiate the orange flesh from the white flesh ones. I like the orange flesh ones. They are full of beta carotene, which is a, a version of vitamin A. Yes, it's the same thing that's in carrots, so it helps your eyes. It also helps all of your tissues, so your skin and the tissues that surround your organs and such. So very important to get that in there. And it's always a good uh, idea to switch around things. So don't always do potatoes, try sweet potatoes. Um, try the, the different kinds, the, the orange and the white, they have different nutrients. I'm gonna start by peeling them and tip of the day, have a bowl beside you while you work so that you can peel into it rather than the garbage. And then you can run it out to the compost. So I'm just gonna peel these guys up and I'm gonna do slices. So I've got these guys peeled and sliced and I'm gonna put them in a pot with some salt in the water. Now we're gonna boil them for a few minutes. The reason we do this is to get them to cook faster. And I don't have this pot filled with water. I just have water about halfway up. There's a little bit of salt in there, like I said, to help them cook. I'm gonna put the lid on to keep the heat in. And for those of you that are concerned about boiling vegetables, um, yes, some nutrients will leach into the water. The main nutrient in sweet potatoes is vitamin A, the beta carotene, which is not water soluble, it's fat soluble. Um, so you're not gonna use a whole, lose a whole lot of that. And also, I mean, nutrients are gonna be lost no matter how you heat a vegetable, and sweet potatoes have to be heated in some way. So what I'm gonna do is boil these for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're just starting to soften, and then I'm going to finish them off, um, and you can either fry or bake them after this. All right, so once these sweet potatoes have had a chance to soften just a bit, you're gonna get them off the heat. And what I'm gonna do is switch this pan over to the hot burner. Doesn't need to be too hot, about medium. Then I'm going to drain the water off the sweet potatoes and all I do is tip the lid and pour it off. Now you can save that water to use for other things if you wish because it will have some nutrients that have leached out of the sweet potatoes. But uh, I don't get crazy about that. So then what we're going to do is um, finish off these sweet potatoes by, by just um, sealing some of the flavoring on the outside, and I'm gonna do that in my pan here. You can just as easily do this by baking them. It just takes a little bit longer for that flavor to seal around the outside of the sweet potato. So if I were baking, what I would do is I would drizzle a little bit of olive oil right onto the sweet potatoes, toss them with the spices, get them in a baking dish, put them in the oven. When I'm frying them, what I'm gonna do is add a very small amount of oil. You really don't need very much here. Because these are already mostly cooked, and because they're wet from being boiled, they really don't need much oil at all. So what I'm gonna do is get these into my pan. And then I will sprinkle the spices on top here. Now I'm using chili powder for these because I want a little bit of a spicy kick for my salad. I very rarely use um, chili powder that comes out of a package, but someone gave this to me and because I rarely use it, I never use it up. So I decided that today I'm going to start using it up. 
So what I do rather than use chili powder most of the time is I make my own by mixing cayenne, cumin, um, oregano, and some allspice. Black pepper is nice too. So very easy, if you see a recipe that calls for chili powder and you don't have any, you don't need to go out and buy some. Just make your own. And put on as much as you like. I like to just have a light dusting over all of my sweet potatoes. So because I have a whole bunch in my pan here, they're not quite fitting, um, I'm gonna have to move them around and keep adding spice as I go. Make sure you flip them. Once they brown on one side, things have gotten sealed in. Flip them over and seal them on the other side. Now, you may notice that I'm not using salt here. I've used salt to cook the sweet potatoes in the water, but now that these are cooked, um, this process here is just sealing the flavor onto the sweet potatoes. I'm not actually cooking them here. Um, yes, they're in pan and they're getting heat, but they're not, um, the cooking process isn't going on here, so I don't need any salt at this point. So I'm just gonna get these um, to a point where I like them, and then I'm gonna arrange them onto a plate, top them with tomatoes, and I'll show you the finished product. So I've got the sweet potatoes arranged here, and then I'm just gonna take a tomato, place it on top. If you are baking your sweet potatoes, you can very easily also put the tomatoes on while it's baking so that they get um, a little bit toasted. I really like the combo of the soft sweet potato with the fresh um, raw tomato. I'm gonna crack a bit of black pepper on here just for some added flavor. There's nothing like black pepper on tomatoes. And there you go. You have a beautiful sweet potato dish that you can use as a salad or an appetizer, or you can just eat it as a meal. I hope you enjoy it. You can find the recipe at healthyveganrecipes.net. I'm Heather, and this is Freshly Served.